Here is another example. In this example, we are finding transfer function for the given circuit. We know the transfer function is nothing but output quantity over input quantity. Here, he gave us the output quantity as Vc of T, voltage across capacitor, and input quantity as Vt, which is also voltage. So, in time domain, H of T equal to Vc of T over V of T, which is output voltage over input voltage. This is nothing but the voltage gain. Okay, voltage gain. Now, the first step we always do is we convert the given circuit into S to mine because it's easy to solve a circuit in S to mine. So, solve converting S to mine is nothing but L inductor is nothing but LS. So, 2 times S and the capacitance is going to be 1 over CS. So, 1 over uh, 1 times S, which is 1 over S. Okay. Now, I'm going to solve this by using the loop equation. So loop one, apply KVL. So if I take the loop one, this given voltage, I'm taking that as V of S, output voltage as VC. Okay, now loop one, I1 current is passing through loop one, I2 current is passing through loop two. Now um, start at one point, come back to the same point without touching any element more than once. That's called loop, right? So I'm going to go through this. So two times I1, two times I1, and plus two S times I1 minus I2. Is so the current passing through that, that inductor, the vertical inductor is nothing but I1 is coming down, I2 is going up. You can say I1 minus I2 is coming down or I2 minus I1 is going up. Since we're in loop one, I always assume I1 current is larger than I2. So I whenever I am in loop one, I always write down I1 minus I2. Okay. So this is my loop one equation. Now same way, loop two equation. So four times I2 plus one over S times I2 plus two S times I2 minus I1. So in loop two, I'm assuming I2 current is larger than I1. So when it comes to loop two, it is I2 minus I1. So loop two, I ended up with the equation uh, which gives me relation between I2 and I1. Now, my output voltage, Vc is nothing but I2 times, Vc is nothing but I2 times, here it, here it is, um, I2 times 1 over Cs, I mean C value is 1 farad, so I2 over S. So, now I have relation between Vc and I2. Now, I'm substituting equation 2 which is loop 2 equation in equation 1 which is loop 1 equation so that's what I did here so after solving that I end up with the relation between I2 and Vs source voltage and the current in loop 2 but I already know relation between I2 and the voltage drop across capacitor now I substituted I2 value in there I ended up with the uh, mm, relation between Vc and Vs, here is the relation. Okay, I'm not spending too much time solving this, please go through the solution. Okay, now Vc over Vs equal to S over 6S square plus 5S plus 6. This is the transfer function of the given circuit. So for any circuit, you, you don't need to have a unique transfer function. Say for example, if I want voltage across across this R2 as my output voltage, now the transfer function is going to change. Okay, I will stop this example here, um, continue on another example in the next video. Thank you.